Hello. Today, we are going to make wings. What we need is wire, so we can use two wire hangers, electrical tape, fabric, ribbon, scissors, a needle and thread, or a sewing machine. So the first thing we need to do is we need to bend our frames for our wings. I'm going to open up the hanger and then we straighten all of these little bends. So once you have your two frames open, you can decide the shape of the wings. And for me, I like a sort of a butterfly shape. And then I choose about two thirds down and bend. And it's nice to do these at the same time so you can make sure that they're even. So once you have two wings, we move on to the next step, which is the tape. Our electrical tape. And we want to join each wing so that there's no pokey bits from the wire. So now we want to cut our fabric. We want to give a seam allowance of about an inch around the frame of the wings. So. You can also draw this out for yourself. And because we want everything to be symmetrical, the same, what we do now is we actually fold what we've already cut. And now we have one side of our wings. So if your wings are wrinkly, the best thing to do is to press them also known as ironing. If you don't have an ironing board handy, you can always use a towel. So now we want to cut the other side of our wings. So we take the second fabric, oops, and we can use our lovely cutout of the first side. And if you have a pencil, or even better, Taylor's chalk, you can actually trace what you're cutting. So now we cut. And again, it's always a good, easy trick, even though we have it traced, just to make sure both sides are the same or as similar as we can make them, to just fold when you get to the middle. have the other side of our wings. So we can put them together. So one side will be purple, and one side will be this fabulous golden pattern. When we're sewing them together, of course we want the pretty stuff facing out. So we can line it up, and then we'll sew the two sides together. So I also find that to have everything line up exactly how I want it, it's best to start from the center of the wings and then sew our way out to the tips. Now it's very important that we're not going to sew completely shut because we still have to get the wire in. We sew to about halfway, whoops, along the bottom. So I sewed just to there. So this part is still open to get our, oops, to get our frame inside. So since we left this nice little open part, we can just slip each half of the wire inside. And now we just close up the last part of the wings. Now, oops, our 
wings are closed. Also, there's one other thing that I like to do. You don't have to, but so that the shape of your wings stays a little more sturdy, I like to add another seam. If you can feel the wire is here, I like to add a seam here to keep the wire really sturdy in there. You're just being very careful that you don't damage your sewing machine by trying to sew a wire hanger or a wing frame. So your wire frame is right here and we have a seam along here so we're going to put another seam just to hold that wire right in place. So now you can see we have this little extra seam just to hold that wire. Okay. Now the last thing that we have to do is add some straps. So we want to make sure that we have enough to go around our arm and still tie a little bow. So let's see. About there is probably good. When you cut, always be careful and look where you're going because scissors are sharp. Now we can take this one that we cut and cut another one the same. We want each strap to be out a little bit from the center. And now, best part of all, just putting them on. So we have our ribbons, each, so we have to tie them. And now we've got rings. So now you have your very own pair of wings. And this is just a recipe for you to customize as you wish. You can also add glitter and sparkles. You can hot glue gun flowers onto your wings, paint them, anything you like to make them yours. And best of all, now you can fly! <laughs>